Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. We're started. Let's introduce everybody real quick. First name. I'm Jordan Fisher. Let's go uh, clockwise. Uh, I'm Elena Fisher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am Dakota Johnson. Hi. I am Daniel Hoyes. How are you guys doing? I didn't know your last name. Yeah. Hoyes? Yeah. Hoyes? Uh-huh. Hoyes! My dad's from Germany. And yeah, you look on the... They're really weird about that. I was going to say, it sounds like a German call. Yeah. Sounds you, like, like soy sauce. Dog. Definitely not like... Hoy sauce! <laughs> soy sauce! <laughs> I love that. So, starting topic. College. You guys are about to enter college next year. The unexplored. Where do you guys all know where you're going? Um, yeah. I'm probably going to go to Arizona State. Oh, no shit. Yeah. You're going to ASU? Yeah. I did not know that. Wow. Yeah, party school, party central. That's number one party school in the country. Yes. Oh. Number one in innovation. <laughs> That's the logo. They try to get rid of that party rep. You know, uh -huh. it's just like, no, just shove that back <laughs> to their parents. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah, my uh, my hero went there. Oh really? Who yeah. Jimmy Tatro. Jimmy Tatro. I know Come you. Here. Trivia yeah. night, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went there and then he I think he dropped out like his sophomore year. And oh. Started making YouTube videos and whatnot. So. So that's what you should do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just only two years. You know, then I could just. Hey, beat him. Maybe get into halfway YouTube, through maybe freshman porno, year. You know, just it doesn't there you go. anymore. Just You're on the West Coast. Yeah. Anything could happen. <laughs> Anything could happen. Just I'm ready for all of it. <laughs> Where are you going, Danny? I'm going to Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles. You going to LA? Too? You guys are yeah. going to the West Coast, oh, both of you? Oh yes. Yeah. I didn't know anybody from my high school that went to the West Coast. Like anybody. My friends are bougie. Yeah, right Ooh, here. Bougie. <laughs> I'm going to Missouri State University, <laughs> oh, honey, Springfield, Missouri. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> we out here. <laughs> Yee. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know you guys were going there. That's oh, you, yeah. know, you guys will be changed people, I would assume. Well, you yeah. guys will all be changed people. College just changes you. It just it just changes you. It really does. Just trying to get out of here. You know, going to see these people from high school. Yeah. It's fun. Wait, how do you go to your high school? <laughs> oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> she found out. Bang, bang, shots fired. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have any, like, expectations for college? Anything you, like, wanted to? I literally... First year, go all hard. All my expectations are so unrealistic. Like, I'm like, oh, next year, like, like I dress like crap every single day, and I'm like, I'm gonna look so nice every single day. Like, blah blah blah. I know. Why do I think I'm gonna do stuff? <laughs> like, I'm like yeah. all I do is sit at home. Why do I think all of a sudden I'm just gonna become social? Like, like yeah. you don't talk to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like 100 percent sure I'm not gonna know anyone. And know, by I'm the like, end of my freshman year, I'm still not gonna know anyone. I'm like, <laughs> like, oh, I've been to the same school for uh, 12 years now. I have no friends. But once I get to college, maybe I'll have friends, even though I still don't know anybody. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I have those expectations. Unrealistic expectations. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. And then maybe, you know, make more money, even though I'm gonna go into debt. But it's fine. I'm like, maybe I'll be rich now. Bitch, you're gonna be broke, but it's okay. I feel like I'm gonna still thought. be wearing the struggle sweatpants that I wear like right now. Like I feel like I'm just gonna still be wearing the same sweatpants throughout the whole entire year next year. Like I'm the not gonna same pair of pants. Yeah, every like at the day. end of the yeah. year. It's gonna be hot like there. Battle. Are you still gonna wear pants it, every single day? Are you hot? Like, I feel like it's are moist. Are you like leg like, shamed? No, like I. I like I not. think you have cute legs. Thank you. So maybe I should wear those like Lululemon like shorts or Be whatever. Bougie. I'm feeling a lot of love between you two right now. Thank you. I'm liking you it. Feel a connection. You don't see what's under happened under the table with our feet. It's a long table. I'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd just be more impressed. <laughs> you guys are, your guys' toes are like interlocked. It's like <laughs> some way, somehow. Is that, that your that. foot? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. I pretty much what we're pointing out right now is a picture of. Two separate hands, four fingers, and somebody wrote, I, pretty much it says, I love you, and it's like a different, every finger, it's like mixed off. A different off. letter. Yeah, a different letter of I love you, and it was one of my buddies and my sister Awkward. that's not here, and I just think that is some of the corniest shit ever. But. Okay, change of subject. In high school, do you remember whenever Bailey, your sister, dated like all of your, like your whole soccer team? I'm so happy you brought this up. Uh, this is like 
such an interesting topic. Well, she she hasn't had she's had one boyfriend, I believe that she knew before I didn't. If that makes sense, because she dated, at, pro, let's just say four people, and she met them all through me. Like I was her wingman, but she hated me. So I was uh. Mm-hmm. That's kind of scary. Man. Yeah. But she dated like she dated like yes, two exactly, different guys. Yes, exactly, exactly. Thank she you, date, Dakota. Like, two I different guys. You from feel the my pain. Team. She dated. Yeah, and she then dated almost dated two guys. One. Yeah, two guys from my one of my club teams, and I feel like, and then Tanner, like her current boyfriend, I know I knew him from Spanish class. Like I used to sit by him and cheat off him. With Kyle, with my my buddy across the street, we would like cheat off of this dude, and then they ended up dating. And Bailey was in the same class, and she sat on the other side of the class. Oh, Kate interesante. <laughs> ah, a few years later. It's a really long period of just staring at somebody <laughs> across the room, just the whole entire time. Yeah, like, really. <laughs> I don't even know if they talked. I don't know. That's interesting. But pretty much, I she hates it, but I like take credit for all of her like past boyfriends, and she like hates that. So that's it's funny. funny. Yeah, I dig it. I'm glad you brought that up. Thank that's you. That's funny. <laughs> 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 Gotta get the whole soccer team, then you know. <laughs> You're not doing it right if you haven't dated all of them. Exactly. You gotta get, get a little taste, you know? You gotta get the full experience, yeah. you know? Like, give them, like, an accurate Yelp review at the end of the season. Like, exactly. Did you enjoy the the, the ASU yeah. soccer team? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the pe- some people were red-shirted. Like, you gotta try them out next year, you know? <laughs> we just need some references. So, like, everybody will know. Yes. Yes. Like after Will like, you please fill out this um, after dating profile, <laughs> please, and rate your experience <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, and please rate 10 for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> because you know it's true. <laughs> I need references. Come on. Come on. You it's about the dollars. You build resume. <laughs> be so funny. I'm trying to be the official homie hopper of the ASU soccer team. Thank you. <laughs> Will you sponsor me? <laughs> Free traveling with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who is this girl? <laughs> she's like, I don't know. She's, she's just the uh, team homie hopper. Yeah. Team groupie. Mm-hmm. One for every team. <laughs> there you go. Okay, another change of subject. We were talking about this earlier, and I just think it's funny. Hood rat stories. I feel like everyone has, like, low-key hood rat stories. You guys should share some of the fucked up shit you've done. Okay, so let's start by the time we went to St. Louis at 2 a.m. The, the oh. thing that got Melana in trouble? Oh, yes. Okay, y'all. I literally, s- my entire life savings, plus I literally slaved for months working as a waitress, bought a freaking but you're car. But you white. Continue. Bought a car. <laughs> and. Bad joke. Um, Like a week into, I think, I don't know who I was. Oh, okay. So this is a really long story. I don't know if you've told this on your podcast before. Okay, so th- I tell really long stories. So we basically went to. I'm gonna cut it down though. We went on you a family have vacation. A time limit. <laughs> <laughs> we went on a family vacation. This like this leads all leads together. Um, went on a family vacation. Jordan, my brother, like leader Carolina, of this okay. podcast. What? North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, we were like North Carolina or somewhere. I don't know where we were, but crack of nowhere. And L- leader of this podcast. Yes, leader of this podcast is my brother. Him and then my sister. They Leader. hate each other. And so it's me and then those two and then my parents all in a car together. Everyone was fighting the entire time. And then everyone has just completely had it by this point. And it was like, I don't know what day it was, like the sixth day or something or like fifth day. Sounds like a good I don't time. Know. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. So then my mom. Okay, first of all, my mom forgot her phone. How do you forget your phone? I don't I don't really know. But we're just going to we're gonna gla- like glaze over that. Um. So my mom and then my brother, my mom was like, okay, we're hitchhiking home. Like, screw all of you. And I so, was like, hell yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought she was serious. She wasn't serious, it turns out later. I think but she I was, was like, I don't know. The time she was, like, pissed off, she was about it, and, like, I was about it, too. I was I was about it. It was interesting. So, um, she basically, uh, my dad just walked down here, and he has his Crocs on. It's very cute. Hey, he's waving his hands. Oh, you cute beef fish. <laughs> um, Gotta so get that croc ad, you know, and just yeah, oh yeah, sponsored by Crocs <laughs> um, <laughs> and Natty Light. Good traction, it's true. Natty Light. Uh, so basically, my mom like got super mad, and then she's like, "We're hitchhiking home," and so we're like, "Okay." Literally, everyone was so unfazed by it. 
And then, so me, my dad, and my sister all started driving home through the mountains, had no cell service, and then my mom left our phone at home, like, whenever we left for vacation, and then Jordan's phone was completely broken. Remember that? Because you had mom's old phone. It's completely You're right. Broken. Yeah. We so didn't have a phone. They were You're all right. Home. They literally threw I their forgot stuff about into a that. bag. Jordan was wearing, you both were wearing water shoes. Because I, I had my old, like, uh, shitty iPhone 5 at that point in time. Yeah. I didn't get didn't my work. current phone. Yeah. That thing fucking sucked. And so, like, neither of them had a phone, and they're in this tiny town in the middle of the mountains, and no, like, no means of transportation. They Robertsville, couldn't... North Carolina. No one. Like, middle of nowhere. Shout out. Also sponsored by like what what was there? There was like a Mexican restaurant, a um, a library, a town hall, a gas station, a hotel, and a grocery store. I think that was about it. That's that's what we're working with. So small, and basically like they had no transportation and no like means of like calling anyone. Can eat all day though, you know. Yeah, for real. Do what? I said can eat all day. Go to that Mexican. Oh yeah. (laughs) Apparently the the Mexican lady. We went out to dinner there like a few nights later, and she she asked my. I think she asked in Spanish or I don't know. It somehow it, it, this completely slipped me, but I was sitting at the table. But she asked my mom or the other lady we were with that if I if I had a wife, and I was like at the time I was like twenty one. I'm like a fucking wife. Calm down over there, waitress. Mm-hmm. Calm down. But uh, oh, yeah, knows. yeah. So she was she was trying to get after it. She's trying to get after your boy. I dig the <laughs> ambition of these Ro- Rogerville, North Carolina, North Carolinian. So if you're still yeah. out there, you can hit them up now because we're exactly. not 21 anymore. Jerome, <laughs> Jerome, I need a wife, and she needs to be from Robertsville, North Carolina. So. For real. Um, basically, okay, so they got stranded, and we were driving home because we're like, screw you guys. Got all the way home. Oh, wait, no, wait. We were a few hours in. We finally got cell service. I get a text message from a random phone number, and it said, Come to the library on Knight Street. Um, something, <laughs> and I was like, who is this? And I was like, who is this? And I didn't get it for like a few hours because I didn't have service. And I was like, who is this? And it said, this is Rhonda. Come to night, uh, library on Knight Street. And I was like, this doesn't seem like my mom because she's typing like really weird. I don't know. Just in, you know, you can like different people type differently. You know? You're like, not you- my mom. <laughs> 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 for real. It was just super weird. And then – um. It, it just sketched me out, and I was like, no. And I was just being, I was being really savage. I could pull up the text messages, but that would take too, way too long. Um, and I basically, I literally sent her, I said, LOL, no. <laughs> and we went all the way home. We ditched them there and got back super late at night. And my dad the whole time felt so bad about it because he's the nicest person ever. Got all the way home. And then I was so pissed off. So I, my dad went to sleep. My sister went to sleep. And my dad was going back the following morning to go pick them up. Like, to literally drive all the way back to North Carolina and pick them. We live in Missouri. From drive St. Louis. All the way back to North Carolina, pick them up, and then turn all the way back around. Well, it was, I think it was, like, a 10-hour drive or something like that. Yeah. And um, so I just was so mad. And my dad, like, went to bed. And so I called – I texted my friend Alexis. I was like, girl, I need to rant. And it was, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. She's like – lol i'm at my dad's house and i was like okay i'm coming to pick you up so i snuck out the back door in my basement and then i left so i like i don't know how i did it really like i think i like opened the garage door like s- earlier that night and then i left through the garage i mean the, not the garage the back basement and then i like walked around and then got in my car left went and picked her up she had to sneak out and then she ended up getting tr- in trouble about it too so we went and we drove down to the um, arch at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning whenever we got there. It was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then just, like, drove around the city. And I was just ranting, like, the entire time, telling her, like, this whole story of everything that happened in North Carolina. Like, how mad I was. And then got home. And then I don't know if mom and dad found about th- Did I get grounded from that? Uh, yeah, you got grounded from going downtown. I think it was. Was it that time? I don't know. No, no, no. It wasn't oh. that time. Oh, so then I got away games. with it that time. And then, like, a few days later, oh, Danny... Oh, you went, you went before, too? Yeah, so I went with no Danny. So you, Danny... I just like, laughed whenever I heard about it. I thought that was so funny. I was the only one in the family laughing. Yeah, I, I told you so... about it, and you, I told you about it a few days later before I got in trouble. Uh-huh. And you're like, what? That's kind of crazy. Like, you're actually kind of upset with me. 
I was oh, surprised. Really? I was like, you actually like, I, I, have morals? It's what? definitely a crazy wild thing to do. I mean, it was. it's like funny that it was over and I'm happy you're okay and probably don't do it in the future kind of deal. But like, you're fine. So. No, I didn't get grounded so. over over that. Danny, like the Danny in this podcast. Hello. <laughs> he, uh, so another time, my same friend Alexis, it was her. So me and her already went before and then I contacted Danny. And we're like, let's go to the arch again. Like, it just became my new hobby, you know? <laughs> so I picked, like, all of them up. And I think Danny – Danny lied. You said your dad was in the hospital because you didn't want to go with us. Oh, yes, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was very tired. They woke me up from a great sleep. He's but, very you know, sick. He literally – has five minutes left to live. <laughs> <laughs> he literally so. said that. He's like, my dad's in the hospital. We said, shut the fuck up and get in the car. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. And then he said, yeah. And he snuck out of so his you guys window. knew? <laughs> you guys did. I did not take any of Danny's crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I was not. No, yeah, my dad was not in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's really. I funny. did not believe that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Danny got in the car, and then we drove to the arch. And so, okay, I don't have a sense of fear, and I was out there. I was in my steak and shake uniform, That's out here thriving. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Went out there. I saw all these guys in the street, and I was like, and they were skateboarding like everywhere, and they're like videotaping each other with GoPros. Downtown like, St. Louis. Yeah, downtown it was Saint three o'clock in the morning. Three a.m. Yes. Do you guys have sketchy. to go to downtown? No. It is so cool. There's like like the city. Okay, so like the police don't go there because it's so dangerous. So literally <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, you're not selling this at all. So okay, there's no police present anywhere. So like But so, there is the like, police office literally like the police department right next to the post office downtown. But like so. there's like there's no police patrolling anything. Yeah. Just the decoy. So like literally yeah. stop signs. <laughs> Everyone runs stop signs at like at the night like they don't yield at all. You, you went like, the wrong way on the street. <laughs> I went the wrong way on a uh, one-way street. Like, no yeah. one cared. I reversed at a green light. with <laughs> Like, it was it was ghetto. So uh-huh. like Okay, like, so where does the part of it get safe? Literally, there was red <laughs> lights, and people were just running red lights. So th- it's just get- it's just okay, cool so at night. You have to go. Was that there's a cardboard cutout of a cop by the police station, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> No, so, okay, I was with Danny and Alexis. I saw all these skateboarders in the street, and I was like, this is so dope. Like, they're all, it, like, imagine just, like, being at a point in your life where you're with all the homies, like, just skateboarding in the city at 3 a.m. for no reason. That's just, I think that's so cool. It's pretty cool. So, I, like, w- I, like, drove past all of them, and I was like, we have to go back. So, like, in the city, like, I turned left, and I just kept turning left until I got back on the same street, you know, what, like, in the what square. What street was it? Sixth and... Sixth and Locust Street Lo- in St. Louis, Locust, Missouri. Hit it up at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Basically, uh, I rolled up next to them. It was like there's probably like seven or there's like probably like, yeah, like seven or eight yeah, guys, and they eight. all went to SLU, like SLU University, and um, they're like 20 years old around that. I don't know. Yeah, they're cool. Like and so I started talking to them. I was like, "Are you guys professional skateboarders?" Because I was 16. I was like, "Are you professional skateboarders?" I was like, yeah, I'm socializing with people. I don't uh-huh, know. I felt and bad. then. They're like, like we started talking to them, and they're like, "Can we ride on your car?" And I literally, <laughs> I remember I said, "Hell yeah, dude!" <laughs> 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 you guys still have videos. So yeah, we have videos we have of videos. it. It was so dope. So like, I don't know, like no sense of fear. Literally, I remember Danny was like, "No, don't do that." Like, like you were like, I don't know. Like, I was like, um, maybe Danny was, we shouldn't, and we should go back home. And you're like, "No, screw that." <laughs> 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 like, uh, and now, like two years later, we're telling this story, you know. We should go back on the anniversary every single year. I think it was, <laughs> it was, it was July 29th, 2017. 29th anniversary. Because that's when I got grounded. <laughs> <laughs> I that's, a, that. that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. July 29th, 2017. We should, because I, yeah, we should go back every single we, year. That'd be cool. I remember this was one of our last times we were going to the city, but basically it was probably like 3 or 4 a.m. And we just kept on taking like shots of five hour energy drink i remember oh that, that was a different <laughs> night well, it was yeah. like the middle of the night it was in the this middle was me of the and night. danny we were it, we were oh, so tired and it didn't hit us until we got home so basically i couldn't sleep at all and it was like probably 10 a.m my dad was like oh um are we gonna go like shopping or something because we we're gonna let's go shopping that day and he looked at me and he's like what the hell? Like, you know, <laughs> like, what just happened? And I was like, oh, dad, I haven't been, I haven't slept in the past, like, 40 we, hours. Because I remember you, you kept saying, like, you're like, go get two five-hour energies, and you'd be like, hey, Melina, give me 30 minutes. <laughs> See, he, he would take, like, a sip, it was, like, 30 minutes of energy. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh-huh. It was so funny. And it didn't happen. went to St. Louis, it was, 
I don't know what time it was, but we went down there. We were trying to find this like. These are all wall. different nights. There's like a graffiti wall down in. St. Oh, it's that yeah. really long like yeah. flood yeah. wall. Yeah. And Daniel were looking for it, so we were driving down this road. It was like empty, and all of a sudden we were driving down. There was this whole ass like motorcycle gang, and we oh. found the wall. And we're like, are we gonna get out? Should and we say this? Yes, we, <laughs> <laughs> we went out. There were all these like motorcycle guys just like staring at us. We like went by the wall. We're like, okay, we can tell the story now. We did it. I wasn't <laughs> pictures, but we took pictures. <laughs> You're like, might have gotten butt raped. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. One for the record books. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell the story. Everything for the experience. <laughs> Do it for the vine. For the story. <laughs> Snap to the story. No. Okay. Summer of the Storm. Okay, so these are all separate times we went to St. Louis. It just became our hobby. Yeah. Story of but how we got butt raped several times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next episode. Uh, how Dakota got butt raped in St. Louis. Like, we're not going to talk about that on here because like this is all positive. Positive vibes only. Uh, basically, I think... Okay, so we picked up all the skateboarders, and then we were just driving around the city. But I didn't know how to drive in general, plus like in the city drive. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know there was like one-way streets. That's a thing. I don't know. So yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. messed that up. <laughs> I, I literally Awkward. told you not to turn left. That's the one thing you did. <laughs> They're in Springfield too, so get used to it. Oh crap. Yeah, they suck. Um, yee. Uh, not too I, bad once you get I them down. But at first, the, they suck. Out here in the sticks. Out here in the boonies. In the we boonies. Have those. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so we just like drove these guys around. There's like seven at the start, and my car was dusty whenever we did this. Uh huh. But like. I rolled down all the windows because I don't have a sense of fear. Like, let's get shot. Like, they're not bulletproof anyways. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, like, yeah. if they're going to, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and um, so we drove them all around. Started with seven around, like, holding on to the inside of my car, like, to the back of my car. At the end, I thought they were still, like, all on there. So I ran over one of their skateboards, and I had to reverse at a green light, like, with all the traffic. It was bad. Yeah. Um, all the traffic <laughs> at 3 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff is going <laughs> on at night. Was, like, two <laughs> maybe i think there yeah there were two. two probably hanging onto my it was the one on the passenger door uh-huh. and one on the driver door yeah um we ended with two because milena was going a little bit too fast and was, then they all fell i was going no th- i was going 30 miles per hour i didn't realize that like they would fall off yeah they literally <laughs> fell off we probably hit potholes they're like crap yeah, <laughs> ran no. them over in my car i'm like what was that bump <laughs> so you, you literally like there were seven when you started and then yeah. and then five fell you just don't yeah. know what happened and, like, points fell. for every single person you had yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah like, exactly <laughs> for the record books no, no, like, and my car was super dusty, and so the next day I looked at it, there was, like, handprints, and then, like, you know how they have, like, in horror movies, like, there's, like, the bloody streak of hand yeah, down yeah. the wall? It was, like, that, but, like, through the dust on the back <laughs> of <my head>. yeah. <laughs> like, And I, I showed my friends, at, like, volleyball the next day, I'm like, I'm so cool, like, look at all these handprints all over my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, crowded. each handprint tells a story. You just get it to make cool. up the story for I, like, each one. I remember I didn't want to wash my car for so long. I was like, <laughs> I'm, like, really sentimental like that, you know? We don't really know where those kids went. <laughs> but we don't even know if they're still alive. But they're fuck still it. Out there. If you're listening to this, please contact us. <laughs> so at my social think, security number, 814. I think that's the moral uh, moral of the story. Fuck it. For real. It was, yeah. It's a cool story. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't mean to take the whole spotlight, but I have another funny story. So basically, got I got grounded for four months from that. That's where I was talking about how like I bought my car. Got grounded from my car right after I bought it. What? And um, got grounded for four months, and then of course I did it again, and so I went down with I was I told, so I was with my friend Avery, and then these two guys that she worked with at um, uh Walmart, and I just met them that night, and they were actually like really cool dudes, and um, so like we picked them up at their house, and I was I was just kind of like okay, I like meeting new people. And, like, they were super cool, and we were talking to them, and, like, I guess that's how I entered, like, that was an icebreaker, like, I had to tell them that story, because, like, for the clout, I guess, um, I don't know. For the clout. <laughs> Respectable decision, and, um, so then they're like, let's go, and I was driving, and I was like, uh, I don't really want to go, but they're strangers, I can't tell them no. So, we ended up going, um, we went down, and I swear on my life, we got out of the car at the arch grounds, it was, like, 2 a.m., Got out of the car, went up to the arch grounds, and it's really cool at night because, like, whenever you look up at the arch, whenever it's dark, you don't have any depth perception. Yeah. So it looks like the arch is, like, two inches above your face, and it looks like it shifts, like, it looks like it's leaning back and forth. It like, definitely does. It have does. Have you ever done that? It's so cool. 
I don't know. It, it, was, it was a cool experience. We were just, like, running around, goofing around. Got back in my car, driving on, like, the – between the arch grounds, the road between the arch grounds and the river. Got stuck in traffic. I don't know why oh there was a bunch of traffic. God, this story. So yeah. we were going so slow, and I locked my car doors, like, locked – like, you can't lock windows. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Um, yeah, you can. You can lock windows. Oh, true. But, like, I was saying from, like, the outside people. No. That should be a thing. That but, should like, be I don't thing. know if it's a problem. I don't I mean, know. Like, you think solution. they can roll the window down? <laughs> yeah. Awkward. I don't know. So, basically, we're driving down the street. I swear my... F- okay, so, there, every time I go down the city, there's always this one car, and it has a hydraulic. So, it has... It's, like, a pimped out car. It's dope. So it has exterior like lights underneath the car, oh. like neon that change color. We, we saw that. Mm-hmm. We saw that one. Yeah. Isn't that a cool car? Yeah. And it has like a hydraulic system in it, so like the back wheels like it shoots up and down. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Oh, that's so cool!" And I like pointed right at them, and then we got a little closer. Guy has an AK-47 across his chest. Made Fuck it. <laughs> made dead eye contact with me, and I was like, I literally I hyperventilate whenever I'm like I have a sense of fear and you're driving yeah i started hyperventilating and I, like i still i like like my heart is racing right now like just thinking of it because i don't know that was the scariest moment of my life oh fun story so i went to peru a couple summers ago and we were there and so in peru there's a bunch of hills and they don't know what railings are there apparently <laughs> Wait, they don't know what, what are they don't know what railings are so like nothing's like protected so oh like falling, you know and so there's like this massive that hill. is a problem yeah so there's like a beach and then like it's like on a massive hill going up and so you can like climb up all these stairs and there's this one guy who was like on the edge running up the stairs like on this giant hill i was like all right fuck it like let's go so i started racing him on the edge and i it was with the spanish like through my school like program so i was with like my spanish teacher and a couple other students so my teacher was behind me. I started running up these hills. He's like, don't fall, don't fall. Started racing him up. He fell, like, onto the stairs. It was, like, on his knees and everything. And I just look at him, and I'm like, all right, no, bet. We still running. <laughs> so I, like, literally start running. He starts, like, coming back up. We started racing up this, like, giant hill, trying not to fall to my death, you know. We get to the top, and all my, like, my teacher's, like, down there still was like climbing up i was like talking to this strange guy he like gets my uh like there's a there's an app called whatsapp yeah you can like talk they to all people, use that like internationally and stuff he was like getting my whatsapp and stuff so you know you can just meet fun people just running I up love like that. cliffs you know so, there you go wow i love that <laughs> it was fun time i think the coolest stuff happens whenever you just meet strangers and hang out with them yeah. like do you remember were you guys with me whenever like, remember whenever, um, so we were in a QT parking lot in O'Fallon. Oh, God. And I was, so it was like, we had, all the homies were together, and we were separated into two separate cars. And we sp- got, went in a QT, and then, like, switched, all switched cars for some reason. And it ended up, I was in my car, and then Coleman was the only one that ended up in my car with me, and everyone else ended up in the other car. So, me, like, everyone else rolled out, and, like, I take forever. So, like, I, like, backed out, like, a few minutes later. And I saw all these guys, like, hanging out, like, on their, like, tricked out cars and i was like this is let's mess with these kids like we have to and um so like we passed them and just stared at them like both of us like full on just looking i was driving not looking at the road at all like completely just turned looking at them and i was like okay we just we just have to keep we're in a qt parking lot i drove around the gas pumps just so i could pass them again uh-huh. And we just stared at them every single time. And they were just, like, looking back, like, who are these people? It wasn't sketchy at all. Either. For real. <laughs> and, uh, and then I was like, let's do it again. We just kept doing it. Like, the fourth time we went around, like, passing them, I was like, okay, we have to talk to them now. So we rolled down the windows and, like, stopped. We started talking to them. And they're like, we're like, the first thing Coleman says, wait, what did he say? <laughs> 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 He's like, are you guys gay? Because I am. And he, <laughs> he listened to all he said to them. And they're like, this whole microphone so, oh sorry the, this is a response they said no but our friend is do you want to date them and i was like these people are so cool so <laughs> so we ended up we went to like um we started talking to them and like they were the coolest people ever and i remember uh, <laughs> 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 we, uh we all like got really close with them and i like <laughs> up with like maybe someone at this table it is not that's why i just made (laughs) that's why i just made awkward eye contact with her 
But yeah, you want to continue the story, Dakota? Oh, yeah. So uh, we so she calls us up because we're in another car, and we're driving away because we, we went in there. Our fat asses got, like, ice cream and stuff, you know. We walked into AKA the gas Danny. station, <laughs> got some ice cream, saw these guys, like, all staring at us. And we just got in our cars, left. And so obviously they're, like, circling this pub, like, staring at these guys. And I guess, like, somehow, what did they say to you guys? We were out here doing the real work for you guys. We're like, hey, like, all of our friends are single. Like, hit them up. I was like, yeah, like, what, you guys want to hang out with them? I was like, we got Dakota, Maddie, Alexis. Like, I was out here slaving, finding <laughs> you guys, like, people. And so you're pimping out your friends. I was yeah. totally pimping yeah. them out. I was like, I was like they're thick. They're thick as, okay, I'm like, I guess, um, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, so she, I get a call. Or actually, I think you called Lex. You called somebody. Yeah. It wasn't me. I yeah, it was Coleman because like, I was driving. You're like, come back. Like, we have guys for you. And we're like, what do you guys no. mean? Like, <laughs> lion ass? Like, what? <laughs> because we always, like, all that whole summer, we're like, everyone was like, we pull no hoes. Like, all this stuff talking about how, like, we get no guys because, like, our whole friend group was all girls. And then, like, two guys. But, like, I don't know. Both guys. Yeah. <laughs> Still don't pull girls. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. But yeah, so they call us. They're like, come back, like, right now. So we, like, whipped it. You know, you and we were like, oh, guys. And so we drive back to this QT, and, like, everybody, like, is at the gas station. And so we just, like, awkwardly get out. It's, like, the most awkward interaction I've ever had. You know, we're all just like, hi. And they're just standing there, like, just talking to each other. Like, why did we turn around for this? Like, y'all aren't even going to talk to us. And so, like, they started passing out, like, their phone number, like, here, everybody, just, like, they literally passed to every single girl, just trying to get every single girl's number. I know, it was one, like, like <laughs> I have a chance between, like, four of these girls. <laughs> like, I have no preference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a story after this. I and then, so, like, this one guy, he, like, kept Snapchatting me, and then we talked for a while, and did a little bit badly, but it's okay, so... Yeah, that was the story of um, a terrible intercom. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> But at least we got hosed. Well, some of you guys did. One of us. Danny's like, I'm still petty about it. <laughs> <laughs> no one set so me up. So. But Melana tried. Yeah. Yeah, you did. My bad. Yeah, you didn't pass out your phone. Yeah, they probably didn't want No, you actually <laughs> did. You did, remember? And then they rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. They're like, no, we don't need this. And I go, okay. I remember <laughs> that. You did. You handed them your phone, and I saw them just like skip over <laughs> you. I was like, like I was like, that was cold hearted. I was like, okay, I can leave now. I can go home and eat my ice cream. <laughs> that was a solid night. They gave you a lead though. Yeah. They said you had a. They had a friend. No, that was for Coleman, not for me. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. I was with Coleman in the parking lot one of the originals. We were in a different QT Neglected. parking lot. Yeah. And we literally met up in a different yeah, QT parking like, lot. Yeah, they were like, come to this QT, not the other one <laughs> that we met at originally. So. Yeah, this one's not cool. This is this is <laughs> no longer the cool Q- QT It was tonight. literally, it was actually yeah, like there that. There cops everywhere, too. Yeah. 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 No, and then this one guy. Oh. He had this shitty ass Jeep. Like, it was falling apart. Literally, if you open the door, it would, f- like, fall off. Uh-huh. And so you we got in his car. Get into one car, we all got into this strange. We got car. into his car, and he was like, "Do you guys want to race?" And we're like, "Yeah." <laughs> like, and, and he thought he, he could no? work a stick shift. Yeah, he, he couldn't. <laughs> he could not work a stick shift. So we, he was sitting there in his jeep, like uh, I don't know what you call it. Like he was like sitting there, like hitting the, the gas engine. pedal, yeah. like revving the engine and stuff, trying to like. Like race this old grandma like and then the next time. <laughs> no, no, it was like a Camaro, but then he had like a old Jeep, like a like a. And it wasn't. Wait, like, he wasn't trying to race you guys. Jeep brand. No, he, it we got into. Like, it it put the like mic a little closer to your mouth. Brand. No, you're cool. No, but we got into his car. We were all in his car, and he was gonna like race this random person, like that didn't even agree uh-huh. to race, and just <laughs> trying to start like something. I don't know. And he's like, "Yeah, let's go." Started going like. I don't even know. Probably like this is on Highway K yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. This it's like forty. That's the speed limit. Forty, I think, is the yeah. speed limit. Thirty-five. Started <laughs> racing down Highway K, which is filled with cars all the time. I was like, "Where do you think you're going, bro?" His like, his car door was duct like his door was duct tape and shut. And then he shut. had this like his speaker didn't work, so he had this like little tiny like portable speaker on his dashboard. To, I like, love. Play music oh, respect. I love yeah. ghetto cars so much. <laughs> yeah. No. Do you remember, I remember we went to, um, we went to the other gas station with them, but did we meet up with them a separate night, or was it the same night that we went to, uh, 
we went to Walmart with them, and like mm-hmm. we were sanding that kid's that car. That was a separate night. That yeah. was a separate night. That was like a few months later. He was and then spray paint his car, so he was sitting there sanding it with this little like probably two by two like sand thing. Yeah, we were like, like the entire car was just sitting there like uh, sanding the paint. In off. the Walmart parking lot, like one tough labor. <laughs> and then I remember we met up with them another night, and we went to this random kid's kid house, house. Random yes. kids. and we went up to his room. And like sat there in this random kid's room, and like they like a shrine. Watched them play video games as we were sitting on this guy's floor. It was a weird experience. We do you remember they had like a shrine in their house? That yeah. was for that, their brother. That oh, he died in war. He was like a legit veteran. Oh crap! Sorry, I did not cut um, this out. We'll cut <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Melinda's an asshole. <laughs> Melinda does it. Yeah. Well, I saw it, but I didn't get to look at it, and I was like, "What you the can't heck?" No, because I was like, <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, "Why do they have a shrine?" And I like saw the uniform, and I went, "Oh." Oh. Uh, no, but his parents were downstairs. He lived with his parents because he's like around like seventeen, like probably. Our age, yeah. So we walked into this random guy's house. His parents are downstairs. There's like four random girls like just coming to the house, like another guy. Yeah. And they're just, like, bringing us up into his room. Like, what are his parents thinking? I don't know. Orchie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just walk up to his room, and then they start playing video games, and we're all just awkwardly, like, just standing around, like, okay. Their parents were really unconcerned. They were like, hey, like, I don't care. Like, I'm not going to remember your name, but what's your name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's always an awkward encounter whenever you, like, first encounter somebody else's parents that are way more laid back than your own. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Mm-hmm. And then you just hang out at their house for the rest of high school. <laughs> <laughs> So weird, interesting night. Yeah, and that was all in the summer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so warm. Do you get? I just remember how warm it was. It's so cold right now. Okay, oh, it's getting warmer. I mean, it's okay. Cut that shit out too. <laughs> 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 I was looking at you. I just started laughing. Do you guys? Okay. Did you guys in like middle school ever go to Six Flags and hang out with random people? No. I was always with my dad. No. Oh, I thought this was like a relatable thing. I did that a lot. You did that? Yeah. But did you, okay, did you hang out with like girls? Yeah, but, like I would go with like one or two friends and then we'd just try to find girls the entire day. That, would that was always, our mission. We would literally always do that. Not, okay, I wouldn't go find, wait. I don't know. Well, you trying to say something. We usually, <laughs> honestly, I usually uh, ended up like hanging out with somebody random. Like you usually make friends at yeah. Six Flags. See, really um, I'm an only child. And as only children, we just bond with our co- like our parents a little bit too much. So I didn't have friends back in middle school. Wait, my friend have, was my dad. You have friends that was now? Well, uh, oh, yeah. I don't have friends either. <laughs> like, I just don't have friends. Yeah, we're, period. We're not yeah, friends, so like, actually. why was that past tense? Yeah. Like, you made it awkward. Yeah. Cut that out. Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but, like, I didn't go to Six Flags with, like, friends or anything. I went with my parents. No, I remember I like, was isn't that sad? Like, I feel like yeah. you should be on Dr. Phil by now. I'm just imagining <laughs> you, like, walking around, holding your dad's hand. He's got, like, a fanny pack on. Yeah, like, in middle school, I would literally... You're kind of kiddie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, I would just... Health. It was fun as hell, though. Like, my dad's fun... My dad's really fun, even though, like, he's, like, 61. And, you know, it's fine. It's okay. I don't have to say Aging it. is okay. That's okay. <laughs> No, but I remember one time I went to Six Flags. I was, like, talking to this guy. I went with him. I didn't know any of his friends. I went to Six Flags with, like, seven random people. We were all, like, just in when line. Was like was um, Like, probably, like, last year. No, two years ago, maybe. I don't know. But it was, like, the most, like, weirdest day. But, like, also, it was, like, super fun. Like, you just get to, like, meet all, like, literally didn't know anybody. And then just spent, like, a whole entire day just sweating my ass off in the lines of Six Flags, you know? So... You get to know people because you're I, like you're, you're standing in line all day yeah, with them. Like yeah. you're gonna end up talking with oh them for God. a while. I went on the Mister Freeze. I spent and like two hours, two hours waiting for a two minute ride. Crap. Was it worth it? Yes, but I mean, I feel like it's shorter than two minutes. Even that oh, is like such yeah. a short ride. Oh, yeah, I think isn't it like thirty five seconds or something? Something like that. I remember every single time I would go on Mister Freeze. I, every time I would get off the ride, I would find a penny in my left shoe. Okay. Is yeah, that was the thing, because you, you want to go up. throw pennies. Yeah. To see it stay in the air as you're falling back. It's down. all about the release point. Yeah. It's all about the release point. Because pretty much the concept of what we're talking about right now is it's a roller coaster that goes straight up, stops in midair, and then drops. And it drops quicker than gravity will make a penny fall. So you want to, as soon as it stops, 
you drop the penny and it, you just see it shoot forward. Like it just like flies forward. Oh, because the inertia. Because yeah. the uh, biomechan- biomechanics of the dynamic, influential, persuasive technique gravity. of the uh, gravity. Inertia plus <laughs> marketing <Friction> major. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> The um, circumference of a circle and, yeah. And the focal point. Exactly. <laughs> Dakota oh. gets it. Dakota <laughs> okay, gets it. Okay, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Real simple calculus. Yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah. Mm, next discussion topic. What are we feeling? It is 9.55, by the way. Whenever you, And we've been doing this for 40 minutes. It's just whatever you guys want to talk I about. I, kinda I, just, know. I know you guys are at school tomorrow. I don't got shit to do. So. I have some, like, weird questions I like asking people. Let me come up with some stuff. What's your um, what's your deepest regret? Me? Deep one, yeah. I need to know now. Honestly, know, not like gonna lie, I wasn't too sad when I got into that car accident. Totally worth it. What? <laughs> oh, oh, Emily oh. Voss. If you're, I don't think anybody's ever said that. Not at her. <laughs> please, <laughs> please elaborate. I've never Did heard anybody so not I, regret. Um, was so, it your fault? No, it was not. Okay. Um, so someone, I. New Year's Eve. Yeah, we cannot give out names. That's yeah, no name dropping. Delete that. Oh, name. Oh, I forgot about um, the no this name human dropping. being. Did not yield on a left turn and hit my friend's car. So Total I, pressure. I was in the back seat and I was not wearing my seatbelt. However, in the state of Missouri, it is legal for you not to wear the seatbelt in the back seat between the ages of seven and seventeen. And guess what? Why does why does that have to be age specific? That's really? Really I, weird. I don't know. That was a you weird law. That's what the lawyer said. So basically, I was 16, so technically it was legal. I didn't know that. But um, so I flew into the passenger seat and broke my arm. Well, you put your arm out. Yeah, I did. To because the seat I was, behind you. And it just okay. And his upper arm, arm, like, completely my shattered and shattered. Arm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, like. Like to brace your. Yeah, to brace my arm. Basically, yeah. he doesn't regret it because he made bank. T. Gotta pay for college <laughs> so, somehow. Oh. Yeah, like some of us walk in front of school buses. Others, I had yeah, I I had a friend when he was two kids. I played high school soccer with. One of them got in a car accident when he was like nine or something like that, and he he inherited like a fuck ton of money whenever he turned eighteen. Yeah, and then the other one was almost he got hit by an ice cream truck, and the ice cream truck they broke right before they were about to run over his head when he was like a toddler. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, he was, like, inches away, but they both got, like, a ton of money whenever they turned 18. Didn't yeah. they say he was going to have, like, millions of do- Like, they put in, like, a money market account, and then he's going to have, like, Yeah, he, like, invested it from a young age, and then, like, the compounding interest just, like, rose. And by, by a certain point, it was pretty young, too, because, I mean, he, he started investing that when he was – or his parents did when he was, like, five. Like whenever he was, like, 21 or something. It was something like really young. Dollars. I think it was a million. But it's something like that. Whatever it was, like, he, he put his money away. And he I was, think whatever my mom pretty smart move, honestly. was in kindergarten, she, like, got ran over by a school bus. I don't know if she made any money out of that. No way. She got skeeted. <laughs> 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 if you're going to get ran over by a school bus, at least get some money. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw this tweet, and this girl, she paid off her student loans because she got hit by a city bus. And so she was like, she was like 80 grand in debt. She got hit by that city bus and it was gone. Wow. And so new life plans. So basically, yeah, just get ran over by a bus. Yeah, I'm plotting my next move. (laughs) If you're just like. Oh my goodness. Didn't you get hit by a car? I did. As a pedestrian walking across the street. So basically this person's like yielding and they're, they're going right, but they're looking at the oncoming traffic to their left. So I see this girl, she's, she's clearly looking to her left and I'm in her, like on her right side and I'm, I halfway anticipated. I'm like, Oh shit. Like she may not see me right now. And then she starts gassing it to accelerate real quick to hop out in front of this car. And, um, and I see her coming. So I like throw my metal water bottle at her, uh, hood so that hopefully she would maybe hear me before she actually hit me. And, um, and so I, I threw it at her, and then I jumped and was able to sweep my legs out and then get on top of her hood. And I went, like, sliding up the top of her hood. Then she broke as soon as she, like, felt me and then uh, or saw me, whatever. And then I slid right back down and landed on my feet and was completely fine. Oh, my God. I mean, she was stationary whenever she, like, accelerated, but, like, still, fuck that. Yeah. You know, I got lucky as shit. That's and insane. 
No, I remember in our school parking lots, it's like jam packed because there's only one exit, so everybody's like racing towards it so they can get out of school super fast. Yeah, totally. I, yeah, yeah, I would our literally just walk really, in um... front of like cars and like y'all can wait for my ass or not. You can pay like shit by tuition, you know. I, I'll make. Sometimes money. like they stop and I literally like say it out loud. I'm like, why'd you stop? Like, I'm a kid. <laughs> like I'll be wait. walking into school, I'm like, why'd you stop? No, there's this one kid that he would lay his hand on the horn, and I would literally just stop in front of his car. I was like, bro, you're not gonna go anywhere if you keep doing that shit. Like, yeah, really. I not move for you. I'm the same way. I'm kind of like petty and stubborn in that in that moment. I'm like, yo, I like I have the leverage right here. I'm yeah. the pedestrian. <laughs> yeah. Like your your ass is getting sued. <laughs> No, or whenever it's super cold, do you ever see those people that are trying to, like, skirt out of the parking lot or something, and you're walking, like, bitch, I want to get in my car, too. I will literally not stop for that. I'm like, you can stop for my house because I want to get in my warm car. So That is just chaos. That yeah. is chaos because it's, yes. like, what, it's, like, 500 people at the school, and, like, yeah. sophomores up can drive, and it's only one exit. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's such a dumb design. That's why I have early release, so I don't have to deal with that. Think about how much quicker it'd be if just two... Do they just added one exit? I don't know why. I never understood that. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why they didn't just... Like, all the amount of time that they would save, like, every student for years to come. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. Okay, well, I have to go because it's 10 o'clock. Thank God. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so, <laughs> yeah, um, bye. Why are you still here? <laughs> Takes out the headphones <laughs> subtly. What? Yeah. I have to drive you back. Oh, is this where it's ending? Yeah. Do you guys have any last s last words? Um, I didn't mean to say ass there. I hope everyone who is listening to this, like, how many pe how many views did we get? Uh like that's like twenty, thirty. I mean, it's like a good one. Got like a thousand. So like like some will get in the hundreds. It just depends. But this I hope the um, moral of the story gets across. You know. Talk to strangers and maybe get ran over by a bus. Mm. Yeah, that's my ending point. If you want to make money, you got to do it the right ways. Sponsored <laughs> by Crocs. <laughs> the ethical way. The noble way. Just get hit by a fucking car. Maybe not a bus that you live. Mm. Preferably. But yeah. I mean, as long as really you don't live? die. That's the goal. Mean. Get paid and don't die. Do we really want to live, though? Okay, Melina. So <laughs> if there's any uh, psychology uh, majors listening, uh, <laughs> maybe diagnose her with depression <laughs> right now on the spot. <laughs> you guys actually want to live through that, <laughs> faggots? <laughs> is that wait? Th does that word offend you, faggot? No, no, okay, I don't think it should be offensive. I don't. I don't. If you if you're offended by that word, then you're taking it too personally. Take the word back. Take it back, bitch. I feel like, yeah, I feel like if someone was saying it in, like, the actual context, that's mean. But, like, I don't know. I feel like. I don't mean it in a hateful sense. I mean in, like, messing around with my, my buddies. I mean, that's how that's how me and my friends talk to each other when we were raised. Like, we just, like, you, you do something, and then it has nothing to be, like, to do with homosexuality. It's just, like, faggot. Mm -hmm. I don't that's, use it, but, like, I don't really care if other people use it. Like, you understand? I don't think of it like the definition. I don't think of it anything to do with that at all. Yeah, no. I don't know. Okay. Well, all right, cool. <laughs> well, this was fun. Myself. Should we take that selfie too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to call us quits. You guys want any more? Bye, any, any more words? Love yeah. you. Peace, love, and bear hugs. I knew, I knew that was coming.